Hello, friends and crafters. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I have a project share for you using Scrap Diva Design's Flip Top Box. And I have to tell you, this was a fun project for me. And you can see I made quite a few. If you're interested in purchasing the dies, I'm going to leave links to them down below in the description box. And please use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your order. I used, of course, the Scrap Diva Designs flip top box die. It comes with lots of dies to create and decorate your uh, project. And there are tutorials out there to put this together. Terry Farr has a tutorial for you to help you create this box and I'll leave a link to her uh, tutorial as well and then I used this coffee stamp and die set from Scrap Diva Designs because I did do a coffee themed one and I used this friends are the perfect blend for my project so let's go ahead and share with you what I created I have a birthday coming up for my very best friend and I'm going to be sending her a coffee themed uh, box full of goodies. So I started out creating with her in mind and I think this is just adorable. The paper that I used for this particular project is called Coffee and it's from Echo Park and it does have these little stickers uh, in the scrapbook kit, it's and this one says it's always coffee time, so that's perfect. I did create these flowers with Scrap Diva's Rose Petal Flower die, and I do have a tutorial on my channel for that in case you're interested. I have these cute little Cottage Cuts dies. I have the bear and the cup are uh, separate dies that I use to create this little image for the front and then here is Scrap Diva's stamp that says friends are the perfect blend. It's really so cute. So I did make this one first and it's the same on the inside so I'll only show you the, the one. But the thing I did different was uh, I used this Tim Holtz, it's a little ring and a brad for my uh, drawer pull and I could not find my knobs at first and then I remembered where I had them in my stash so I used them for the rest of the projects. So you just pull on the drawer, flip this back and then, oh, I'll show you what's in the drawer. So since this is coffee themed, I have these little instant coffee packets. And I got these off of Amazon. These are fun. They have only two calories each and they are all different flavors of coffee and they fit perfectly in this drawer. It was like this project was made for these little coffee <laughs> things. And if you're giving it to a friend, uh, it's just absolutely perfect. So this just comes down over so you can display this. And here you could see in my little window here that I have, again, the little Cottage Cuts bear. And he's holding a to-go cup of coffee in the back. And those are both Cottage Cuts dies. And this is just a cutout from one of the sheets of paper in the uh, Coffee Echo Park scrapbooking kit. And there's a lot of coffee sentiments on it. And I cut this one out that says, I'd stop drinking coffee, but I'm not a quitter. And then another one of the scrapbook pages has all these coffee cups on there. And I cut all the little coffee cups out, mounted them on a piece of scrapbook paper and put that in there. And I think it's just darling. So my friend will have fun with that on her desk. Then I decided to make some... Christmas projects before Christmas in July is over. <laughs> and so I did this. This is using uh, a gingerbread Christmas from Echo Park. I had this paper last year 
And in June, Echo Park had a big sale on their scrapbook kits and I bought more of this paper because I loved it. So I created this box with that paper and this is a sticker from the uh, paper pack. It says North Pole Baking Company Cookies, Cocoa and Treats. And this little gingerbread guy right here is a Sizzix die that I just decorated up. And the flower, this was not a, uh, what do you call it, a poinsettia die. It's just a regular die that I have in my stash that I folded different to make it look like a poinsettia. So whatever you have in your stash, work with it to make all these cute little things. Don't be afraid to try and experiment with your dies. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I didn't put anything in this one yet. And I did decorate the inside of my boxes, by the way. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to, who I'm giving this to or what I want to put in there. So let me go ahead and pull, pull this down. Let me go ahead and go flat here. All of a sudden it's stuck. Oh, I know because it's on the top here. It's got to go down. There we go. Push this down. All right, and here is the inside, the little scene that I created in this box. It says North Pole Milk and Cookies, Baking Santa's Favorite, and then it says Fresh Baked Sweets. So what I have here is uh, I bought the sticker. There was a sticker collection that went with this paper, and I bought that last year, and I still had the stickers left. So I put the little gingerbread house in the cookie and the little gingerbread are all from the stickers set for this paper. And then these little things are buttons that you can get at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. I'm not sure which ones they've been in my stash for some time, but the little cupcake and the little glittery gingerbread boy and the peppermint and the cookie cutter are all buttons. And I think that makes an adorable scene. So I, I, of course I had to make a pink one. And this paper collection is from Recollection and it's called Sugar Plum. I'm not sure what year that came out. I'll turn it over so you can see the back. It does have gingerbread uh, cookies and stuff in it. And again, this is that rose dye, not a rose dye, but a die from my collection. I'm not sure if it was a rose or not, but I just played, just pulled it out and played with it and made it uh, look like a poinsettia. And then I have some Tim Holtz uh, greenery, Christmas greenery die that I just stuck in the back there to uh, make it look more festive. And this is a cottage cut gingerbread die. I th believe this was a release from last year. And then the paper has some borders and I cut the fa la 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 out of that border. Fa la la la. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and open this one. Cause I think I the scene is a little bit different in this one. Hang on a second. My drawer is a little tight on this one. Here we go. So let me go ahead and pull this one down. All right, and here we have what I have inside. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this right here is a Cottage Cuts uh, Gingerbread Girl. And that same die set has the little mixer in the mixing bowl. And I just had to put that in there. And then the cookie sheet in the background is also a Cottage Cuts die that I've had for some time. And the size of these dies were perfect for fitting inside the uh, little um, window in here. And then I have a poinsettia uh, flower here that I created from a Prima mold. And I'm not sure what the name of that mold was. Um, I had this lion on my desk, so I picked that up to put it in the background. And again, here we have the buttons. 
Of course, I had to put another cute little gingerbread cookie cutter in there with a little gingerbread boy that looks like he popped out of that cookie cutter because he's really tiny. He was a button. And then I have a cupcake and then a little gingerbread on that side. Completely adorable, isn't it? Oh my gosh, so cute. I would love to have that. I probably will be having that sit on my desk for Christmas. So the next thing I did was create a um, little box with Santa on it. And here we have Santa Claus on this one. And this paper collection here is called Winter Wonderland. And it's a paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And the Happy Holidays is a sentiment that is in that paper. And the Santa is a Cottage Cuts. And again, you can see I used that same die. I think this is supposed to be a rose, but I just folded it different to make it look like poinsettia. And I punched Martha Stewart uh, snowflakes. All right, and we'll open this one up. And I don't have anything in these uh, Christmas ones because I'm not sure what I'm gonna, who I'm gonna give it to and what I wanna put inside. So I just need to fold that back. This comes down and look at how cute this is. It's a winter wonderland scene. This is a die set from Cottage Cuts. And the die set has all these little houses and all these trees and that cute little snowman in there. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. So cute. Really, really cute. When I saw that die set, I knew I had to have it and I got it a year or two ago. It's perfect for creating scenes. I love it. I hope you can see everything in there. All right, we're gonna lay that one down so you can see that one. And the last one I'm gonna share with you is this one here, and this is the pink version of it. There's a, uh, something different inside here. This uh, one is using the Prima Christmas Sparkle Paper, and I'll flip it over to show it to you. Very pretty. This is actually the uh, Sizzix, no, is it Sizzix? Yes, no, I'm sorry. It is the Spellbinders, because I use that a lot, the Spellbinders poinsettia die. And uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of difference. Let me, whoop, not that one. You can see this one's uh, just wider petals on that one. So I did create poinsettias for this one. All right, so this is from the sticker collection from that uh, Prima Christmas Sparkle paper. All right, and these are Martha Stewart uh, Punch Snowflakes. I'll go ahead and open this one up. And this one is beautiful inside as well. I love the insides of these, oh my gosh. So I had this idea that I wanted to put a, um, little what do you call it a forest scene in here so what i have is uh cottage cuts dies and the um the trees are three different sizes of cottage cuts trees and then this is a cottage cuts die the little uh deer and i think it's just adorable and then i made a tiny poinsettia to put right there. Just cute. I love this to pieces. I love the inside scenes. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's just really cute. And that is my project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will get to you and answer them. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed your visit. Until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye-bye.